No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'm always show. Mackenzie Dern struggled to hold back the emotions as she addressed her most recent loss after losing to Yan Xiaonan by majority decision in the UFC Vegas 61 main event. Before we move ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay tuned. Despite dominating on the mat twice, Dern could not finish Yan with submission and struggled to counter Yan's better hitting whenever the fight was on the feet. Dern came close to completing the battle on the ground for the third straight bout but fell short. On the UFC post-fight show, Dern said, I didn't do what I came to do, you know, my my goal was, so, was if I got it to the ground, I should be finishing it, you know. I have the best jiu-jitsu, I believe, in the women's division, so I had lots of opportunities to finish, and she was just a better fighter than me, I couldn't. I just feel like I've been getting so better, and it's just, it's sad to not be able to, to show it in the fight, you know, but um, I have so much to grow, and it's all part of the journey, and I just think, you know, Dana, the UFC, my team, um, the Zuckerberg family for being here, making this such a great event, and... Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry if I made anyone sad, you know, with my performance. I know so many people believed in me and I believed in myself, but it is part of the, it's part of the, the game, so. Dern admitted that she needed to become a little bit meaner, with her submissions before the battle even began, after failing to finish Marina Rodriguez and Tessia Torres in back-to-back -back fights, despite getting both of them into awkward positions on the ground. Dern always had Yan in danger when she brought the fight to the ground, but she could not create an opening to lock in the submission, which eventually allowed Yan to win. I knew that I was gonna have to like, or break her arm or put her to sleep. She's tough. That's what I was saying the whole time coming into here. Like, she's a tough girl, you know, I knew she wasn't gonna tap easily, so standing. Yeah, she, she hits hard, so. The first couple punches, my eyes, I saw like, whew, this is gonna be a dog fight. I knew it was gonna be a dog fight, but I really, really thought that I was gonna submit her, you know, so I'm not surprised with her defense, you know. I don't feel her defense was like the best defense, but I think that she's tough, you know, so she's hanging in there. And that's what I saw with Tisha. That's what I saw with Marina. So that's what it is. They're not going to tap for anything. So I just got to keep working on my game, get my jiu-jitsu on point, you know, be aggressive 100% of the time and, and get my striking better. Dern is now 2-2 two to two in her last four fights and is unquestionably further off from title contention in the UFC strawweight division due to the defeat. Dern said she intends to take a little break after a demanding training camp to recover from Yan and the fight on Saturday. But she has vowed to keep working hard if she wants to start her ascent back up the ranks. Yeah, I mean, not too much, but definitely I'm going to go to Brazil, take my daughter, stay a little bit on the beach for a couple days. Keep, I can't take too much time off, just keep working on it, keep working on it, you know. Thankfully, I'm not injured. My face is a little beat up, but no, no serious injury. So, yeah, just get back into it, but yeah, definitely. Her emotions did not end here. After the defeat, she also came live and had some heart-to-heart -heart communication with her fans. Here is a glimpse of her life. I'm gonna be champion, guys. <laughs> okay, maybe not right now, maybe not in six months, but I'm gonna be the champion. So I just thank you everyone for the support and I'm gonna get better. And yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Many people are saying it easily that she's not a good fighter. She was destined to lose, etc. But we have a question for you guys. Is it so hard for people to acknowledge someone? To degrade someone? To put so much pressure on someone? As her fan or anti-fan, what are your emotions regarding this fight? Do let us know in the comment section below.